So the most shocking fact about brain aneurysms is the profound paradox between how common they are and how rarely they rupture. And that the best defense against this, this so-called ticking time bomb is not screening, but simple lifestyle control. What is the fact? It's an estimated that up to 1 in 50 people has an ruptured brain aneurysm. And the overwhelming majority causes cause zero symptoms. So they are silent, weak spots on a brain artery. However, the good news, as shown by decades of research, is that the annual risk of one of these aneurysms rupturing is actually very low. Attention, approximately 1 in 10,000 people will suffer a classic hemorrhagic, hemorrhagic stroke bleeding from a ruptured aneurysm. So it makes screening pointless. The combination of high prevalence and low rupture risk is exactly why mass screening of the general population is not recommended at all. We would perform millions of risky and expensive brain scans to prevent a tiny number of events causing massive anxiety and potential harm from the procedures themselves. It, it reveals the true villain, high blood pressure. So the single most powerful and modifiable risk factor that can turn a stable harmless aneurysm into a, a deadly rupture is uncontrolled arterial hypertension. So the constant high pressure hammering on that weak spot in the artery wall is what uh, causes it to eventually give way. So the cure is a prevention through lifestyle as always. So what is the most competent advice? It's very simple. A healthy lifestyle is your most reliable protection. Even if you are, dear patient, in 1 in 50 who has this aneurysm, you can dramatically reduce the risk of ever becoming a problem by. So, controlling your blood pressure through proper nutrition and regular physical activity, refusing bad habits, especially smoking, which is a major independent risk factor for both aneurysm formation and rupture. So this transforms the narrative from one of the terrifying random time bomb to an empowering message of proactive health management. Stay blessed.